Okay, Malacanang has reportedly downplayed the the steady drop of uh, Pinoy's rating. And in fact, uh, President Aquino was quoted as saying that he is not concerned about, you know, about popularity rating. How should, is this the right kind of attitude? First, to begin <laughs> you, with. You ask me, not, <laughs> of course not. Well, politically speaking. If, yeah, if uh, you recall, uh, uh -huh. previous presidents also had that kind of opinion mm -hmm. whenever confronted by dropping uh, ratings. <laughs> so it's a given. <laughs> it, it's a given um, reaction. <laughs> not, not really. It's a knee-jerk reaction, yes. Uh -huh. But uh, I, I, if, if I am to advise him, he should face it uh, squarely. I mm. mean, it's it's not a an opposition driven survey in the first place. We we know that uh, is the WS is a an independent uh, uh -huh. group. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, whatever the results it should be taken, uh, it should be noted and uh, you know uh, inputted into whatever corrective measures that uh, mm -hmm. you have. And uh, of course, it's good for propaganda if you okay. face that you are not concerned. Uh -huh. But uh, I, do, I don't think that they are really that unconcerned. Mm -hmm. uh, you think don't think are, that? Yeah, they're talking about <laughs> it. Uh, even do, you think, are, do you think, sir, that uh, the communicators of uh, President Aquino are, are now in, in jitters? Well, not really in the sense that uh, they see themselves as the fault. You know? mm -hmm. Even as uh, the, the, the previous uh, reasoning of the administration is that the people really don't know much about the gains, only the problems and mm. mistakes. So it's a question of communication. Well, to a certain extent, yes. Particularly for people that have uh, no uh, access uh, every day to the media. But the question is, is there something to communicate to? Well, if, you don't, if you don't have anything <laughs> to communicate, <laughs> how can you communicate? Isn't that correct, uh, <laughs> sir? Is yeah. there something to communicate to begin with to the public yeah, and the there, media? There are, I'm not uh, speaking if, in a general sense. You know, if sense, policies, yeah. sir, if policies in, in terms of environment, um, yeah. land reform, and, and, uh, and uh, especially on economy, if there are no clear policies on these, I, so I would, what I, should be, you know, what should be communicated to the media <laughs> and the public, Deba, sir? I would agree with you completely <laughs> on that. Yeah. That's one of the major problems that this administration mm -hmm. had. Mm -hmm. We thought that... Uh, last year during the first uh, sonar mm -hmm. and that would be the great occasion to to say something about the vision about concrete uh, plans and how to get there mm -hmm. but uh, it was uh, spotty there were a lot of areas that were not covered it was what did you say what word did you use spotty I, I used the word spotty okay well, what do you mean by that spots he elaborated like in the anti corruption ah, okay mm -hmm. but then environment it's a, it's a sweeping, uh, uh -huh. I think, one sentence type. Uh -huh. uh, so we, everybody is waiting, mm -hmm. particularly those that were not mentioned. They were waiting for anything during the past year on their own issues, their mm -hmm. own situations. What we have actually today is a promise that in the next SONA, that would be the content. Mm -hmm. Okay, you mentioned SONA. What should the public now expect from President Aquino? Okay, in in terms of economy, um, employment, etc., anything to do with, with the aspect of economy, what should the public expect from President Aquino on 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 the on uh, his second regular sauna? Well, actually, I think he would speak about the rise in investment. That's uh, actually one of those that are not really uh, in the media. Uh -huh. He would speak on uh, the question of job creation. Uh -huh. He would speak on. Uh, uh, budget uh, management. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we had a lower spending today than uh, mm -hmm. anything else. The, yes, there's an understanding, sir. So we're talking basically of a picture mm -hmm. that says that the governance is uh, healthy, it's well and good, uh, except that uh, there's no uh, dramatic uh, improvement. Mm -hmm. Because the one missing theme there, I don't know if he would confront it in the sauna, is the question of the everyday economic struggle mm -hmm. or hardship of mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. We're talking inflation, we're talking uh, quality of jobs or, or the absence of jobs, the question of uh, peace and order, the question of education, and so on and so forth. These are what we call government services. Mm -hmm. Because if you're talking economy, these are the felt aspects, meaning these are the aspects of the economy 
that is real for most of our people. So if you're talking statistics, investment, and so on and so forth, that's way up there. Mm-hmm. It cannot uh, be understood immediately mm-hmm. at the grassroots level. Mm-hmm. And that's the problem. It's not communication. You have to translate whatever gains in the entire economy into measurable uh, rise in the quality of life of the people. Mm-hmm. Okay, last question, uh, Mr. Casiple. Okay, can you uh, boldly say that President Aquino is making or doing a self-erosion of his image after one year? Well, I wouldn't say that he, he wants it. I would rather say that uh, he has to get into his stride mm. in his presidency, meaning he, act, uh, he should act more presidential. <laughs> he should be <laughs> Why? as a leader. Well, what has been your observation, uh, sir? Well, it's a, it's a laid-back type of leadership uh-huh. so mm-hmm. far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He lets other people speak for the administration. Mm-hmm. And when he speaks, it's, I mean, it's not really presidential. Mm-hmm. He, he even... Uh, upstates his own spokesperson. Oh, and yes. <laughs> you know what <laughs> you I know mean. that. <laughs> That's a very good observation, uh, Mr. Casible, <laughs> from a uh, media and public relations perspective. Yeah. Anyway, sir, thank you very much for sharing us your wisdom, your thoughts, and your observations. And, of course, your, your opinions on, uh, on the recent SWS survey on uh, Pinoy's uh, latest dropping of uh, approval rating. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you. So that was uh, the executive director of the Institute for Political and Electoral Reforms and a political analyst, Mr. Ramon Casiple of uh, the Ateneo de Manila University. It's now two minutes after six in the evening. It's now time to make way for our BBC News.